Welcome to La Belle Province, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm Jane Sabalski here in Montreal, Quebec. Back here in Montreal, the form may be a thing of the past, but Ray, there is no building that gives me goosebumps quite like this city's does. A Saturday night game, there is an incredible feeling here. This is a wonderful place to play. It was my favorite for the winningest franchise of all time. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Puck is dropped to that hockey. Puck battle along the boards. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Drouin. Quick feed to Petrie. Trying to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Scooped up along the wall by McCabe. Couldn't complete the pass. The Bruins moving ahead. Here's a rocket of a shot. That was off a twig. And he comes up with it. Price off to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Slavin's got that shutdown zone ability, which is his skill at defending one-on-one -on -one situations, guys. He keeps calm, reads the play, and breaks it up. He can really bail out his team when they need him to. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. And that's poked away by Suzuki. The Bruins have it now. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Marchand. Takes the pass. Now he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. Here's a short pass to Demers. And that pass can't connect. Takes the puck along the boards. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Demers. There's another for the hit parade. Slavin's going to play it against the half wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Taken by Demers. And now it's over to Toffoli. Gains the zone through the middle. Let's it rip. Price gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Slavin's aggressive here in this first period. Nobody's got a goal, but you want to show that you're going to be the most aggressive team. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Puck picked up by Cole. And now it's grabbed by Kutkaniemi. Montreal's across the blue line. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. On the attack along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Domi. Backhander in front! Denies him in close. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Skates in behind the cage. Stones him in front. Puck grabbed by Stetcher. Looks to pass it to Gallagher. They've got some momentum here. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Penalty coming up. They've got numbers here. Here's a chance to take advantage with the delayed penalty. They've got the extra attacker on the ice. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. The Bruins have been handed two for interference. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lump it. The first penalty kill of the night for this team, and they won't let that knock their confidence. We know their penalty kill unit is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. So let's see if any of their improvements show up tonight. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. Denied that one. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances. Oh, puts it off the iron. Had the side of the net, but doesn't go. Hey, can we have a bounce so somebody can call a goal here? That shot hits the post and stays out. With possession along the wall. 
trying to exit the defensive zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Domi's got it in the offensive end. Hammers a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. And he takes a shot, and he makes the save. Boston's got the puck shorthanded. And they clear that puck. Bjork's ready to join the play. D'Angelo's got it in the defensive end. The Canadians fail to capitalize on the power play. And he easily stops that one. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. Still lots of time left in the period. We're still scoreless. Montreal's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Montreal's got it now. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Bjork's lugging the puck. Takes the feed. Scrum ensues along the boards. Puck scooped up by Moore. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Vladar's always a battler. And here he makes a great save on this chance. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Boston's got possession here in their own end. Moore's moving the puck through his own zone. Montreal's got it along the wall. Takes a shot with the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Studnik has won it off the faceoff. There's the whistle penalty coming up. There's a tough call to take here. Interference is the call, Ray. Battling away for the puck, you end up taking a little bit too much of a liberty and you get whistled for interference. Guys, we know this penalty kill is ranked toward the bottom of the league, but tonight they've already successfully shut down this power play here. Let's see what they can do with this next opportunity and see if they're able to shut them down again. The Canadians win the draw. Steps in front of that one. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Gallagher's got it across the line. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Goes right to the crease. And that's picked off in front. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The Canadians have it against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Boom! Oh, nowhere to go in the play. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Lorenz and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Canadians gain possession in their own end. Picked up along the wall by Anderson. Here he is in close. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Works it across to Demers. Boston's got it in their own zone. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Blaze got it in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Huge stop by Gladar. Tosses it on to Toffoli. The Canadians gain possession. Wrist one in front. 
The car's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. More than half the period has expired. We've still got zeros on the board. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here's a chance on the attack. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Toffoli's got it along the wing. To the low slot. Grabbed along the boards by DeBrusque. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Picked up along the boards by Lekanen. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And they won't connect on that one. Richie's got it along the boards. He grabs the puck here at the point. Moves behind the net. And that's broken up. D'Angelo stick handling in his own zone. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Here's a shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Vladar. Taken by Kara. Montreal's got possession here in the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Bjork. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Can't get it to go. Taken along the wall by Drouet. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Boston's got the puck. Rips it on net, and that one's stopped. That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. And now it's grabbed by D'Angelo. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Can't get a hold of that pass. Sends a pass over. Pass to Richie. The Bruins are in transition. Puts it in deep. The Canadians gain control of the puck. And no luck on that pass attempt. The Canadians get a hold of it. Suzuki's got it into offensive territory. Great poke check on the reach. Puck grab by Drouet. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass across to Marchand. Boston's got it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Quick pass to Richie. Handles it along the blue line. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Keeps possession. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. A chance! Comes up with the stop. The Canadians get a hold of the puck. The Bruins take possession in the neutral zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Dished on over to Marchand. Loose puck battle along the boards. Taken by Marchand. Angles it over to Kotkaniemi. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Kotkaniemi. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The Bruins take it across the line. Takes a shot. Turned aside with a glove. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Price is in good position here. He gets the blocker on this to turn away the scoring chance. Late goings of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Boston's got the puck against the boards. And a strong effort on that play. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. Paling's going off for interference. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Bergeron's yoink zone ability is when he picks his opponent's pockets to switch from defense to offense. 
Price gives his team a chance to win by making timely stops. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Musa quickly over to Coil. And that's poked away. The Canadians will kill off a few extra seconds now. And the puck clears the zone. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And they continue to apply pressure here. Shuts them down. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Fans, take a look at our scoreboard as we acknowledge tonight's special group Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. The Canadians win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Stopped with ease. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Slavin's trying to change a few things up. This pointless streak is starting to nag at him. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now he angles it across to Marchand. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Ladar's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Stepons ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Toffoli swooping in on the attack. The Canadians gain possession of the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. The Bruins have it behind the cage. Can't connect on the pass. Nice job to escape the zone. Boston's got it in their own zone. Score remains tied after the power play fails to deliver. That power play was a lot of window drop. He scores! A friendly ping on that one. Yeah, great shot. He's just trying to get it past the goaltender here. It hits the pipe and goes into the net. If you're on the ice with him, you just get your stick on the ice. He's able to find an open lane, find the open spot, and then put the puck on the stick. That goal is the byproduct of his puck on a string superstar ability, guys. His stick handling opened up some space, and he puts one up on the board. The Bruins get a hold of the puck off the draw. That pass doesn't go. It's a two-on-one rush. Poked away by Bergeron. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. McCain's been nabbed for tripping. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. The Canadians send their man advantage unit out once more. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. And now he tries to get it across to Gauntz. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. And now he moves it to Kotkaniemi. Feeds it down low. And there's the save. Vladar's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Vladar's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Studnik has won the face-off. Gets it out of his own end. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Couldn't complete the play. 
Oh, and a great heads up play to force the turnover by Bergeron. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Canadians take it across the blue line. Quick feed to Kotkaniemi. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Trying to clear. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Moves it to Domi with the stop. Latar's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Stretched all the way out. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Boston's won the draw. Trying to clear the zone. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Oh, he's trying to shoot that off the glass, James. Under a little bit of pressure, he panics, shoots it over the window. Now he's got to go feel shame for two minutes. <laughs> then you go free after that, right? Montreal's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Too many teams waste their five-on-three power play by trying to look for the perfect shot. Get it, shoot it, retrieve it, make the penalty killers move. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Off his stick! Oh, break out the ice packs. He lays out to block that shot. Ow! The Bruins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And they get the puck out. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Couldn't complete the pass. Cuts into the paint. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Lorenz is ready for the faceoff as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. The Bruins win the draw. And they send it down the ice. Montreal's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Gains the zone. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Moore's up at the box. And he's able to handle that one. Scooped up along the wall by D'Angelo. The Canadians remain a goal behind as they fail to convert on the power play. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Clifton. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. The Bruins have it against the wall. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends it over to McCabe. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Sent into the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Gallagher. Steps inside. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Stetcher's been out with that injury, but it looks like he hasn't missed much. That's a good shot on goal. Moore's got the puck. Poked away in the defensive end. The Canadians gain possession in their own end. Here's a short pass to Lekanen. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Bruins take over on possession. Enters the offensive zone from the left. A shot denied by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Vladar's in good position to use the blocker there to shield that away. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Bruins lead it 1-0. Montreal's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Receives the pass. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. 
Price hangs on to the puck to stop the play. The setters will glide into the dot. Boston's won the faceoff. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Denies him on the slapper. There's a hit on the play. Grabbed along the boards by Petrie. Not able to connect. Quick pass to DeBrusque. Quick shot. Denies him on the play. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Takes the feed. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Through center along the wing. Moves it quickly over to play. And that pass can't connect. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Price takes on that scoring chance with the blocker. Really nice save on that play. Here in the back half of this period, Boston's up one zip. The Canadians win the faceoff. Petrie's got the puck in his own zone. Boston's got the puck. Feeds it across the ice to Slavin. Montreal's got it across the line. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Taken along the wall by Bjork. Gains the zone through center. Manages to hang on. Denies him in front. The Canadians gain control of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Slavin. The Canadians have it now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Driving right to the front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Gladar. Smothered that in close chance. Hits an on-man rush. Two on one. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he makes the save on that play. Delayed penalty looming. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Marshawn's getting a chance here on the power play, guys. He knows his zone ability could help them generate a good scoring chance. Let's see if they can strike. Bergeron's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Can't finish, but what a move! The only thing... He scores! Putting a special in special teams! Now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They move the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. He zips this by the goaltender. That snapshot beat him clean. The Bruins have gone up by two here in this second period. Really like the way they've gone about their business. Yeah. They haven't lost any of their aggressiveness. They've still stayed and tried to forecheck. I like it, and they've deserved this two-goal lead. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. Past the midway mark in this period. Boston's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped and play resumes. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Scrum along the boards. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Suzuki. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Ladar's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Hey, do these guys know they can skate around each other? Each time they've come together, it's been another body contact. 
Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. The Bruins are off to the box. Interference the call. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much. That's a pretty easy call. The Canadians once again send out their power play unit. I can see a little bit of stress and press on this power play. They haven't been successful yet. They have to look at this as a brand new, fresh opportunity. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Anderson. And that one's broken up. And they get that puck down the ice. Montreal's got possession of the puck. With some open space at center. The Canadians playing along the wing. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. Moves it to Petrie. And that's broken up. Trying to clear the puck. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a blast off a stick. And they clear that puck. The Canadians have it behind the net. Here they come. Let's it fly. Great save by Vladar. Vladar's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Unable to reach that one. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. I really like the way that these guys have killed penalties. They have been perfect tonight. Take a penalty, kill it off. They don't look phased at all. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Anderson's taking it from his own end. Hangs onto the puck. Nice zone entry from the middle. Here's a short pass to play. Montreal's going to play it from the corner. Oh, what a stick save! Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And now it's over to Pasternak. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Bruins have it from their own end. And he serves it across to Marchand. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And now he angles it across to Pasternak. Boston's on the attack. Slides the puck across. Levo's carrying it ahead. Slotted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Puck picked up by Toffoli. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Turned aside with the glove by Price. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Vladar's been taking dangerous chances and throwing them to the curb all night. Here's another one. In the final moments of this period, we've got a 2-0 game here tonight. The Canadians win the draw. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Toffoli's got it to the side. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Scrum ensues along the boards. And that's all she wrote on period number two in this one. The Bruins have played excellent defensive hockey tonight. They lead it 2-0. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. 
Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Montreal's frustration is pretty evident. They've had all kinds of chances, but that goalie down there has been amazing. The Bruins move it in. And that's turned aside by Price. Quick pass to Drouet. Moves it around along the half wall. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Pasternak's got it against the boards. Maintains possession. Great reach with the hook check. Denied by the puck stopper. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Price is in really good shape here as he makes the pad save. Dead square to the shot. Lots of time left in this period. 2-0 is where we sit. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Takes a bump, but hangs on. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Domi. Nice pass. Moves it quickly over to Domi. From one point man to another. Can't get it to go. And the puck's not loose. Here he is in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Shot comes up with the stop. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Domi's going off for elbowing. You're on the receiving end of this. You're not very happy. That's a penalty all day long. Pretty easy call to make. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Most power plays I was on, James, we were all greedy. If you had one or two earlier in the game, you wanted three or four. It never lays down. Dismiss that chance. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bjork. And now he tries to get it across to McCabe. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Montreal's got the puck shorthanded. Gaining momentum along the wing. Keeps hold of the puck. And he rings the post! Denies him again! Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Price makes a great save here. Can't be bothered with that scoring chance. Blaze gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Quick shot. Uh-uh. Beautiful defensive effort. Pokes it away in his own end. The Bruins have it now. Boston's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Bruins get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, the penalty killers hang on. They give themselves a chance. They're not much time left, but they were able to stay in touch with the game with a good penalty kill. Boston's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by DeBrusque. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Canadians gain control of it. Tries to feed it over to Romanov. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Couldn't catch up to that pass. McCabe's got it in the defensive end. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. 
The Bruins are on the attack. A chance! That's blocked. Quick feed to Kotkaniemi. Cuts to the paint. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Pretty courageous, unselfish play to lay out and block that shot. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Boston's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Slides it diagonally to Stetcher and makes the save. Vladar's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Stetcher. Wide to the net. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. And they won't connect on that one. Scooped up along the wall by Richie. Vladar's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. And now he moves it to Stetcher. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck across to Stetcher. From center, they get into the attacking area. Sends it across. And they can't connect. Takes control of the puck. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Clifton's lugging the puck. Can't get it to go. Picked up along the wall by Clifton. On the attack along the boards. Right through the middle. Turns it aside with a glove. He anticipates that pass perfectly. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Battling for it along the boards. Grizzlick's moving the puck through his own zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Scores! Gets the friendly bounce! Happened so quickly, you beat the goalie. You know it's in, except lots of times it won't. This one bounces his way. Well, this took a little bit of a detour and hit the post, but man, was this quick. Off the pipe and in. Boston's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a short pass to Anderson. Takes the feet at the back end. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Vladar's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Philadelphia is up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. With the blast! And puts it just wide! The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Montreal's got possession here in the neutral zone. Puck grabbed by Anderson. Battle along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Moore. Boston's got the puck. Here's a blast! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. More than half the period has expired. Boston's got a three-goal lead. Montreal's got possession here in their own end. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Kakaniemi's got it on the offensive end. Quick pass to Gallagher. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in the open ice. 
Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Gallagher. Boston's defense has been exceptional. They've defended well, kept the front of the net clean, and whenever there's a rebound, they get it out of there fast. Unleashes a cannon! Made the stop on the play. Montreal's got it in their own zone. And now it's over to Slavin. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Richie. Works it across to Gallagher. Great poke by Richie. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Quick snap, stuffs him again. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Scoops up the puck in front of the net, trying to clear the zone. He scores! 400 points in his career, that marker puts him up to a nice level for his career. And they're recognizing that on the big screen as we speak. You play this well for this long, you deserve something better than this. But he gives up the late goal, and that'll end the shutout. The Canadians have got one back here now in the third. They're really going to have to push. You're going to run out of time here in the last period. The Bruins win it. Taken by McCabe. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to D'Angelo. Can't get it to go. Lagar's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. His ability to create in several different ways makes him tough to handle. Probably why he's in the top of the league in points. Carlin's got the answer as to who had the better night. Bergeron's looked like the better competitor tonight, guys. He might not have any points, but he's still been able to work hard and stick with it. Moves the puck. Whoa! Scores! Brad Marchand! He drives the opposition nuts without the puck, and with it, he's one of the best. That's a pretty good shot. He picks the open spot right through the legs, and he's got himself a goal. Boston's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Grabs the puck at center. Quick feed to bleed. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Moves it to D'Angelo. Across the line from center. Sends it over. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Blade swooping in on the attack. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. And sends it just out of reach. Moves the puck to bleed. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And that's picked up in the defensive end. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. Breaking into the attacking zone from the right. Slides the puck across to Drouin. The Bruins gain possession. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Marchand. Takes the pass from the left wing. Fires it! Gets in front of it. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. Boston's ready to go on the attack. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Taken by Levo. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Taken along the wall by Paling. Save made by the goalie. Vladar's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Late goings of this period. 
And it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point. It's 4-1. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Boston's moving it up the ice. Grizzlick's got it along the wing. Standing tall with the save. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Quick pass to Stetcher. And a stick break set up. Here's a short pass to Levo. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Picked off by Anderson. Puck scooped up by Stepan. The Canadians carried along the wall. Fails to find the open man. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Anderson. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. From the right side, they gain the zone. Toffoli's going to play it against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Cole. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Quick pass to step on. Can't find his man. Final hole and we are all done with this one. Boston's coaches may nitpick to the point that they were on their heels a lot in this one, but this was still a dominant win. When they got the puck, though, over the offensive side of center, they were decisive, they were efficient, and look at the number of goals they scored. And that'll do it from a very entertaining night of hockey here this evening for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Bonsoir!